Hello, and welcome back to Scrum Study. So far, we've discussed the six principles that guide Scrum. Have you ever wondered why Scrum is becoming more popular with every passing day? Well, in many ways, Scrum is better than the traditional project management methods. Let's consider in detail some of these differences between Scrum and traditional project management models. The main difference is the way in which projects are handled. The emphasis in traditional project management is to conduct detailed upfront planning for the project with emphasis on fixing the scope, cost, and schedule and managing those parameters. Traditional project management may at times lead to a situation where the plan has succeeded, yet the customer isn't satisfied. Scrum encourages data-based iterative decisions over the detailed upfront planning practiced in traditional waterfall-style project management. The focus isn't on meeting the project plan's targets, but on satisfying customer requirements. Traditional project management can lead to a situation where the plan has succeeded, yet the customer isn't satisfied. In addition to iterative planning and delivery, Scrum supports the collaboration of all parties involved, be it the customer, business team, or technical team to minimize risk and achieve satisfaction. Scrum is often contrasted with the other linear fashion project methods because of the low upfront planning and scheduling of activities that are followed by execution. The Scrum framework is founded on the belief that the knowledge workers of today can offer much more than just their technical expertise, and that trying to fully map out and plan for an ever-changing environment isn't efficient. Therefore, Scrum encourages data-based iterative decision-making. In Scrum, the primary focus is on delivering products that satisfy customer requirements in small, iterative, shippable increments. To deliver the greatest amount of value in the shortest amount of time, Scrum promotes prioritization and timeboxing over fixing the scope, cost, and schedule of a project. An important feature of Scrum is self-organization, which allows the individuals who are actually doing the work to estimate and take ownership of tasks. We can conclude this segment by saying that all in all, Scrum is an updated theory for managing any type of project suited to our time and age, ready to replace the traditional project management techniques that were created in and for a bygone era. And with that, we come to the end of this session on Scrum versus traditional project management methods. And this marks the end of our module on the principles of Scrum as presented in A Guide to the Scrum Body of Knowledge. We at Scrum Study look forward to seeing you in more of our informational videos. Until then, thank you for learning with us.